shifting dimensions and how it relates to shifting your mindset is all about the ability of changing the perception of real of your reality. And once you do that, you change and shift into a parallel reality with better outcomes because you've now expanded your awareness. And once you expand your awareness, you step into a new state of being. You step into a 2.0 version of yourself. You're listening to Shifting Dimensions. I'm your host, Jimmy Moses. Hey everyone, and thanks again for tuning back into the show. Today is a solo episode where I'm going to guide you to shift from a mindset of nothing is working out for me into everything is working out for me. Everything is working out in my favor. You can use this as a form of meditation or feel free to pause and take notes as you listen to the episode. Really, whatever helps you get the most out of this episode. This is the beginning of many solo segments dedicated to shifting our state of consciousness and reality. Outside of exploring the mind, the universe, and everything in between on the show, as you know, the truth is the real underlying purpose of the show is to help you shift your state of consciousness and your perceived reality to a more positive fearless, creative, curious, and higher dimension. And so far, I've done that through thought-provoking conversations, which I'll continue to do. That will be a majority of the show, but I'm also going to start including these solo guided meditations or lessons, however you want to describe them, to help us focus as a collective or as an individual on an intentional shift. So as I said, we'll be shifting from a dimension or mindset of nothing is working out for me into a dimension where everything is working out for me. Everything's working out in my favor. But before we get into that, how does the term shifting dimensions relate to a mindset shift? So the term shifting dimensions can be a powerful metaphor for a mindset shift because Both of them involve moving from one perspective of reality to another. They both involve changing the perception of reality. So in physics and metaphysics, dimensions often represent different planes of existence or perspectives on reality, right? Well, similarly, a mindset shift is about changing how you perceive your reality, So when someone shifts their mindset, they essentially move from one dimension of thought, which is often based in fear, limitation, or scarcity, into another, where possibilities are broader and challenges are opportunities, right? So picture this, the old dimension says, things are not working out for me. And then when you shift to the new dimension, it says, things are always working out in my favor. This can also tie into parallel realities, right? So when you change your perception of reality, you're technically shifting to a parallel reality, right? So the idea of shifting dimensions implies that there's an existence of multiple parallel realities, each of them with different outcomes, So in terms of mindset, it's the understanding that by changing our thoughts, we can access different realities or outcomes in life. And when we access different realities or access different outcomes in life, we're shifting into a parallel reality that has better outcomes than the one that we're currently in. So We are always a thought away from moving into a different reality where things start to align and flow better. And that is because we are constantly expanding our awareness. So shifting dimensions also implies an expansion of consciousness. Much like a mindset shift, it involves expanding one's awareness. So it's about stepping out of a narrow or limited view of life into a broader perspective 
where you recognize that you have the power to influence your circumstances through your thoughts and actions, right? And when you do that, you enter a new state of being. So moving between dimensions can also symbolize transitioning into new states of being, right? So just as in science fiction where characters move between worlds, a mindset shift allows someone to move from feeling stuck or powerless into a state of more empowerment and optimism. So it's about entering a mental and emotional state where you feel aligned with your goals and the flow of your life, right? So again, shifting dimensions and how it relates to shifting your mindset is all about the ability of changing the perception of real of your reality. And once you do that, you change and shift into a parallel reality with better outcomes because you've now expanded your awareness. And once you expand your awareness, you step into a new state of being. You step into a 2.0 version of yourself. The 2.0 version of yourself has now charted a new path, right? And it's also very important to understand the role of energy in all of this. So shifting dimensions often involves an energetic transformation as well. So similarly, when you shift your mindset, you're not just changing your thoughts, you're altering your emotional and energetic vibration as well. So by moving from negative or doubtful energy into a more positive and confident one, you can begin to attract different experiences into your life. So when I use the phrase shifting dimensions to describe a mindset shift, I'm inviting my listeners, you all listening to this podcast right now, to understand that you have the power to step into new mental and emotional dimensions and have breakthroughs so that your life can be experienced differently right? So your challenges now become growth opportunities and your struggles no longer lead to you being stuck. They lead to breakthroughs, right? So with that being said, let's shift. As I said before, we're shifting from nothing works out for me into everything is working out for me. Everything is working out in my favor. In life, I know that there are moments when it feels like nothing is going right. We get stuck in the sloop of self-doubt and frustration. And before we know it, it feels like the whole universe is working against us. But keep this in mind, right? What if I told you that The way you perceive your challenges could be the key to transforming your reality. I'm a big believer in this. What if things are actually always working out for you, but you just haven't tuned into that frequency yet? So how exactly do we tune into that frequency? Well, it starts with recognizing the power of perspective, right? I cannot stress this enough. So. I want to start off by saying that this whole idea of mindset isn't just some fluffy concept. It's really the lens through which we experience everything. Your mindset shapes your thoughts, your thoughts shape your emotions, and your emotions shape your actions. So if you're constantly feeling like life is working against you, It could be because you're looking at things through a distorted lens. I'm going to pause for a minute so you can reflect on this. I'm going to say it one more time. If you're constantly feeling like life is working against you, it could be because you're looking at things through a distorted lens. Because think about it. If you're always focusing on what isn't working, it becomes harder to see opportunities or blessings that may be right in front of you. That's why the first step is becoming aware of the story 
that you're telling yourself. If you want a great book that dives into this, you need to read The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. And to become aware of the story that you're telling yourself, you have to ask yourself, am I focusing more on my obstacles than my opportunities? Because remember, energy flows where attention goes. So if you're focusing more on your obstacles, that's where most of your energy is going to flow towards. Your reality is going to reflect back to you what you're focusing on. Rather, if you focus more on the opportunities, the silver linings in each situation, energy is going to flow that way and the universe, your reality will reflect that back to you. And this ties into the law of assumption, which essentially is what you believe you become. So basically, the law of assumption is one of the most powerful mental shifts you can make. In simple terms, it's the idea that what you assume to be true about your life shapes your reality. So if you assume that you're always struggling, guess what? you'll continue to struggle. But if you start to believe, truly believe that things are always working out for you, that everything you go through has a purpose, then life starts to reflect that back to you. And I'll give you a quick example. I have many examples. So I remember, I think it was 2021, at the end of 2021, early 2022, I was desperately looking for a new job and I was interviewing for a company and for a role that I just thought, oh my gosh, I would be perfect here. This aligns for me. Intuitively, I kind of knew that it didn't. Something was a bit off, but on paper, it just seemed like everything I would want. So I was gunning for the role. I mean, I had never studied so hard for a a job opportunity, an interview before. And I went through a couple rounds of interviews and I kind of got ghosted and I thought, oh my gosh, why is this happening? I was super anxious. I was sending emails every other day trying to get an update from the team. I mean, I was just completely outside of my body and it, it was very uncharacteristic of me. Just so worried, so anxious, constantly reaching out. And I remember my sister saying, hey, Jimmy, relax. If it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, it's not. There are going to be other opportunities. But at the time, I just, I was holding on to this opportunity so much. And eventually, I have this thought pop into my head. And I said, you know what? It doesn't matter. I know that the next job I have is going to be amazing and much better than I could ever expect. And it doesn't matter if it's this company or not. I know that everything is going to work out for me. And if it's not this company, I know that there will be another role at another company that's much better for me. And I decided to focus on that. I decided to believe in that. I decided to put my energy towards that. Eventually, the company I was waiting to hear back from told me that they decided to put a pause on the process And they were no longer hiring for the role that I was interviewing for. And of course, I was bummed, but not for long because I had already switched my mindset. I had already started to believe in the idea that I was going to get a great job and this job wasn't the end all be all. So when I got the news, I was disappointed for a minute or two and I moved on. I was like, okay onto other things, started to apply to other jobs. And I landed a role literally three weeks to a month later at a wonderful company that I've been working at since then. Great team, great company culture, great role. It mean, it was perfect. It was the perfect place for me. And when I think back on it, I realized that Although it was very challenging to go through an interview process and to really want something and feel like you weren't going to receive it, assuming that everything was going to work out for me at the end, in the end, and choosing to put my energy in that, choosing to move forward, choosing to continue to apply to other jobs and keep an open heart, I landed a role and 
I got to be a part of a company that I never even could imagine would be possible, right? Especially in terms of company culture. And I was looking for at the time a role where I could manage my work-life balance and I wouldn't be in a place where my nervous system was constantly under attack because of the stress from the job. And this was the role. And I was also looking to step more into tech and do something that was innovative and cyber related. And I got all of that and more. So I say all of that to say that the law of assumption and choosing to believe in something more positive and to reframe your challenge is not about pretending that challenges don't exist. It's about embracing them as part of a bigger plan that's leading to your growth and abundance. Because in that moment when I was frantically hoping and praying and and, and trying to force this role into existence that I was applying for, I was trying to force myself to, to get it on an energetic level. The lesson I learned during that time that was pretty challenging was the idea of releasing control and trusting that I will be guided to the opportunity that is for my highest good. No matter how disappointing it might be to feel like I'm losing out on something that might feel aligned, that even when something feels aligned, sometimes we don't even know that there's something greater, much more aligned waiting for us on the other side. And that leads me to the role of gratitude and reframing. So one powerful tool for shifting our mindsets is gratitude. And I know we hear the word tossed around a lot, but gratitude is more than just saying thank you. It's an energetic shift that helps reframe how we view our circumstances. So when you start to appreciate even the smallest things, you send a signal to your mind and the universe that you're in a place of receiving. In that moment when I really wanted that job, I remember feeling a deep sense of gratitude because for a while I didn't think it was possible or I thought it would be a lot harder to get interviews in the industry that I was looking to pivot into. So that showed me that, oh, it is possible for my resume to be pulled out of the hat and for me to get interviews at companies who work in the industry that I'm interested in. So I was grateful for that. That experience also showed me exactly the type of role that I was looking for because before that I had been applying to different types of roles. I wasn't really sure what I wanted my next role to look like, but that particular interview process for that company showed me the type of role, the exact type of role that I was looking to enter. So again, when you start to appreciate even the smallest things and you hold a space of gratitude, you send a signal to your mind and the universe that you're in a place of receiving. It's like tuning into a new frequency. Suddenly things don't seem as bad, of course, and more positive things start to flow towards you. So here's a simple exercise. Feel free to pause and take notes. Every time you're faced with a challenge, ask yourself, how can this work out in my favor? Or what's the lesson or blessing in this situation? So now I know all of this is easier said than done, right? So I want to offer some practical tips to help you shift your mindset, right? So first thing, you want to start your day with intention, I know we've heard this before as well, but it's so important. Before you even get out of bed, take a moment to set an intention for the day. Say to yourself, today, things are working out for me. I trust the process. The second thing is you need to reframe your negative thoughts. And this is not any sort of like fake positivity or bypassing heavy stuff, but When a negative thought creeps in, it's very important to counter it with a positive one. And what do I mean by positive? So instead of thinking, why is this happening to me? You should try, what is this trying to teach me or how can I grow from this? 
So reframing and changing negative thoughts is less about saying, oh, everything's fine. And it's more about asking particular questions and digging deeper, doing some self-reflection and asking, okay, how is this situation going to help me in the long run? How is this helping me for the greater good, right? For my greater good. And how can I grow from this? And sometimes maybe the question needs to be, please show me what this situation is trying to teach me. Or please show me how I'm supposed to grow from this. Because I know there's things in life that are so challenging sometimes that we're utterly perplexed and utterly confused. Please show me why I keep running into the same challenging situation. Because once you reframe the thought from, oh my God, this is always happening to me to, okay, why is this happening? What do I need to be aware of? How can I use this to my own benefit? You've turned it around. You've turned it into something that could be positive. Another thing is you need to surround yourself with positivity. So your environment matters so much. You need to pay attention to the people the media, and even the self-talk that you engage with, right? So you need to surround yourself with things that uplift you and inspire you, whether that's listening to music that calms you first thing in the morning or listening to a message that speaks to your soul. Whatever it is, you need to surround yourself with as many positive people, media, environments as possible. And then it's very important to visualize success. So spend a few minutes every day visualizing things going right in your life. So imagine the feeling of your goals being achieved and everything aligning perfectly. The more you see it in your mind, the more likely you're to manifest it in your reality. So again, when I was going through that moment where I was desperately looking for a new job and I just kind of found and I felt like I hit the jackpot with that job I was interviewing for. In the moments where I was freaking out, I I remember taking a deep breath and remembering that, okay, at least I have a job right now and I'm not in a position where I'm looking for work without work. So I'm in deep gratitude for that. And while I'm in deep gratitude for that, I'm also picturing myself working in a company, in an industry that is more aligned with who I am and how I'm trying to grow. Overall, the most important thing I think we all need to remember in all of this when it comes to shifting is we need to remember the role of patience and trust because it's often overlooked and it's so important, patience. Sometimes the shift from things aren't working out to things are working out requires trust and time, right? You won't always see immediate results, but that doesn't mean they aren't on the way. You really have to trust the timing of your life. Again, I'm gonna use the example that I've been using this whole time with the story I told you. When I started to shift my mindset to, okay, this job isn't working out for me. Nothing's working out for me. I mean, I could have been like, I've been looking for jobs for the last six months. And finally I I land a interview with a job that I'm super excited about and it's falling through. When I shifted my mindset to everything's working out for me and I will find the right job at the right time and it's going to feel right. I don't have to rush it. I don't have to force it. It's going to be a mutual thing. I'm going to want to work for them and they're going to want me to work for them. I didn't know when that was going to happen. I was fortunate enough to have an interview roll in a week after getting the news that I wouldn't be moving forward with the company I was originally interviewing with, but I had no idea when it was going to happen. I had surrendered so much that if I didn't get another job for another six months, a job that I was really excited about, I was okay with that. I just released trust. I released control. I released the need to rush things. I just let it all go. And I, I, I sat with the patience. I sat with the trust. It, it really is not just a mindset shift. Like I said, it's an energetic shift. I mean, it's, it's all intertwined. It's an energetic shift. It's a new state of being. 
It's a new state of awareness, all intertwined into the shift, into the dimensional shift, into the mindset shift. So again, it's very important to trust the timing of your life. Please feel free to go back and listen to this as many times as you need to and take as many notes as you need to. I really hope that it was helpful to you and it will continue to be helpful to you because it's an ongoing journey. With that being said, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, leave a review, leave a comment, whatever you feel called or aligned to do. Really appreciate it because it helps the podcast grow and um, it just increases visibility. And if you can get this out to other people who will benefit from this, then why not? Appreciate you. Much love. Till next time.